Good night. One five target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Just give me a chance. My work could Advent help. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Wait, so we're just so the the v VIP mission is different this time around. When we were playing on Iron Man mode, we had to get to some truck and then get to here. Essentially, now we just have 12 turns to get there. And based off the time that we had, it wasn't very much. Uh, we're going to toss a save, and we're just going to haul ass. We're going to haul ass. Um, mission 3, 1. So it is good to see that things are randomized a bit, but the mission order seems the same. Um, generally speaking. We don't have concealment. Hey, look. There's a wanted sign with our character on it. Zeros on this screen. Hmm. That's cool. Moving to designated position. On the move. Orders confirmed. On the move. Now here's the thing. I'm going to drop a quick save. We want the VIP to aggro. Didn't work. Closing on target position now. Scanning. On Overwatch. Come get some. Drop shot traffic. Didn't work. That's all right. Spar have a chance to hit. Not early. Throwing grenade. Let's get this VIP to safe cover. Hunker him down. JP's gonna have to move up. Roger that. I like that combat protocol thing. We're gonna have to test that out, depending on if this guy can get there to make the shot or not. I don't think he's going to be able to. Moving out. Nine points of damage. Enemy eliminated. We're 
We're gonna try our combat protocol. Go get him! Get him, buddy! Should stun him, right? I assumed that it would be a stun attack. Did I assume wrong? Fifty-fifty. I didn't get to find out if that was a stun attack or not. And I don't think it was. He didn't look animated. It wasn't an animation or anything that showed the stun. He's our furthest forward. No. JP is. Alright, Johnny. Moving to designated position. I didn't drop a save. We can save now. Good old scum. Yes, I want to definitely get in there and kill those guys. Got our eyes on him. Can we get a grenade air shot down there? Without blowing anybody up? Does that count? Let's see here. I think that'll hit him. Oh yeah! Look at that, just blows a hole in the building. Take the shot, buddy. Good night. Is that a window? I can't tell if that's a window. I don't think it is. Headed there now. Spotted! Missed. Shot wide. He's on Overwatch. She can't make the shot from up here? Spar needs the kill. He can't overwatch. He can't get me with the overwatch from there. No, he can't. Good night. Promotion earned. Spar needed that. Good, good. Alright, let's get everyone home. Over 
Good to go. Affirmative. Moving out. Just in time. Ready to boogie. Easy peasy. VIP secure and in position for evac. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. Ready to boogie. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Fun, fun. We got some promotions to hand out, I believe. We're one step Two promotions. Spar's gravely wounded, but we gave him a med pack. I like the animation. It shows them wounded. Um, Alright. Let's see what we got. Uh, allow Overwatch to trigger with squad sight. That's cool. Um... That means basically he has a better chance to hit with Overwatch if somebody's closer to the enemy that he is. Closer to the enemy than he is. Um, return fire when targeted by enemy fire. Automatically fire back once per turn. Ooh, it's a counter-strike ability. I like it. Ooh, Phantom and Blade Master. What is this? When the squad is revealed, this soldier remains concealed. Ooh. Blade Master, deal two extra damage on all sword attacks. Hmm. How much does the sword attack normally do, though? See, here it says a ranger can perform a dash move using both actions to move and still slash against an adjacent enemy. We tried that. I did a load, a reload. I ran up to him and then reloaded, and I was not able to do that. That's pretty unclear. We're going to have to look into that. Because if that was the case and I could sprint and then use the sword, the sword would become more valuable. And then I would do an extra two of damage on all sword attacks. And I'm going to assume the sword does maybe four, five damage. It's got to do, you know, as much as the shotgun to make it worth it. Because the shotgun's only a close range of weapon. So, and the blade has less of a chance to hit than the shotgun does. So, based off that, I, I want to say that the Phantom seems like the better of the uh, two options. Because you can stay concealed, you can move up close enough, if you can't fully get to the enemy, you can get this shotgun blast off, and you're not out of concealment. And you're, you're sneaking around as a Phantom with a shotgun. However, if you can truly, truly use a sprint and then a sword, that's going to pay off. We're going to go with Phantom. We need a new person, because uh, Spar... We're just going to bring in a rookie. We're not going to customize them. Alright, we're going to take a five minute break and we'll be back for the next episode. Every time I think I fix the blue screen, it comes back at the most random time. Uh, and it's from installing a new SSD card, so... That's a bummer. What can you do? I'm going to have to get... I've been thinking... And Overwatch. Rat-tat-tattle. You're dead. You're dead. GG.